If you're a coach, consultant, or marketing agency owner who is running paid ads, whether Facebook or YouTube ads, I want to share with you my seven figure video ads formula that generated 404 booked appointments for my client. And just to give you guys some proof, I'm here inside of their ad account. And as you can see, we spent about $41,642.50. Uh, this is about like maybe a four month window. And this was in Canadian, so I already have the conversions up here. So that's about 32,000 uh, USD that generated 404 appointments for them at $103 Canadian, which if you do the conversion is $81 a booked appointment. Uh, enough said that uh, these people generated hundreds of thousands with these booked appointments and they were able to rapidly grow their marketing agency now this structure not only works for marketing agencies it works for pretty much anything if you're promoting a service or a course or um, some type of um, pretty much anything I, I can't even think of where this might not even work for this structure just kills. It converts really, really well. And it didn't just work for this client. I use this for pretty much all my clients. And it really does help them drop their cost per acquisition in terms of getting people actually inside their funnel and booking calls. Uh, and it just grabs attention. It converts. It persuades people. So without further ado, I'm going to break down exactly uh, what this video ads formula is. And I have some of the stuff here blocked off just to kind of tease you a little bit. And at the end, I'm going to show you one of the winning ads from that campaign that I showed you earlier. Um, and you can see exactly this structure in, in action. So let's me make this disappear. So here is the structure pretty much only has seven steps. Step number one is hook. Okay. Step number two is problem. Step number three is solution. Step number four is risk reversal. Step number five is a proof or success story. Step number six is an overview of everything you'll do at a high level. And step number seven is call to action. Okay. So it's pretty, pretty simple. It's about seven steps. Now, for my clients, just in case you're wondering, okay, how do I remember all of this? I recommend either filming each part in sections and then just having an editor just kind of chop it up together. Or if you want to follow a script, that's something else you can do as well. Okay, so let me make this next part disappear. Uh, basically, the entire video should be two to three minutes max. Now, I know this seems like a lot, uh, but you can squeeze this entire thing into about three minutes maximum. So that means that each of these lines should not be dragging on for too long. It should probably be maybe max three or four sentences uh, for each one. And each section should maybe be no more than 15 seconds, 15, 20 seconds, depending on what you're talking about, right? Some of these should be a little bit longer, like the proof or success story part, um, maybe what you do at a high level. Some of these should be a little bit longer, uh, but definitely the beginning should be very, very short. Uh, let me get this next part disappeared. Uh, basically, here's step by step some pointers on how this works. So immediately you should be hooking them and getting their attention. The best thing you can do for this is calling out who you're going after. Hey, contractors or hey, um, nurse practitioners or hey, um, uh, I'm drawing a blank. Hey, athletes. <laughs> so whoever you want for uh, your offer, you should probably call them out. Uh, it's usually a good idea. Call out who you want, right? And you should get their attention. So a way to do this is doing a pattern interrupt. Um, a lot of people do the whole, hey, 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 stop, hey, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, that works, but it's a little bit played out in my opinion. And there's better ways you can do pattern interrupts. And the way you should view pattern interrupts is people have certain things that they're used to seeing, especially on the platforms they're on. Um, and then people, what happens is since we're pattern seeking uh, humans, that's what we're like been biologically uh, bred or whatever they're biologically uh, evolved to do rather, uh, we tend to seek patterns in everyday life. And when something breaks the norm or is different than what we're used to, or what we might assume might happen, it draws our attention. So in terms of pattern interrupts, whatever your offer is, 
You could either say a very, very strong statement, um, something that goes maybe against what they might be thinking, um, maybe holding an item or something weird in front of the screen just to get them thinking like, what the heck is this? So uh, the video ad I'm going to show you, um, basically what he says is like, hey, roofing leads are dead, right? And we're going after people who want roof leads. So when they see that, they're like, wait, what, what, do, you, what, do, you, what do you mean they're, they're dead? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, are you, what are you talking about? So that stops them for a second. Uh, there's other things you can do. I've seen people, um, I remember one example, like a Shopify course. I think they got like a Shopify, the logo, like in a plushy form, and they're kind of holding it up to the screen for a second. Uh, that's something that was kind of like, whoa, like I've never seen that. Like I didn't know they made Shopify plushies. You know what I'm saying? And it kind of stops their attention for a second. Um, so that's kind of how you should be thinking about it. Okay, what can I do to get them to know that this is for me and then hit him with something that uh, gets them thinking whether it's again a question something a strong statement maybe um going against what they thought this was going to be so that is the first part um this is the next part so that's the hook let's talk about the problem so Oh, I made two of these disappear. So we can talk about problem and solution real quick. So basically, talk about the problems they're facing with their marketing. So this will be more if you're going after uh, people for your marketing agency. But um, you could pretty much just leave it as, let me just, so you guys don't get confused. Talk about the problems they're facing, right? Whatever problem they're facing. Uh, for this specific client, a lot of them are doing Home Advisor and Angie's List and getting completely burned on those services. Um their shared lead services so that's kind of a problem that they're facing where they're calling these leads and they're paying good money for these leads but these leads have been shared with a ton of other businesses a ton of other contractors who are also calling the same leads so it's not very effective use uh, of their time because when people when they call the leads these people have been already called a crap ton of times and they're really not trying to get another pitch on the phone so that's a problem that somebody in uh, that 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 my current or that specific client rather uh, was trying to to go after uh, for you it could be what problems are they facing are they not getting enough uh, booked appointments right um, are they not able to uh, uh, have a uh, <laughs> a passionate relationship are they not able to uh, make enough uh, gym shots on the basketball court? Are they not able to uh, get clients? Uh, are they not able to, whatever problem right they're facing, you wanna talk about their current hell. I learned this from Travis Sago. Uh, the way he differentiates it is, there's hell island and then there's heaven island. What is their current hell? Like Talk about like a day in the life, all of the problems they're facing as it relates to your offer. Okay, and you quick quickly mention it, maybe 10, 15 seconds just rattling off. Okay, what is the problem that your product helps them solve? Next, you quickly, and I'm talking like one sentence, introduce who you are and you talk about the solution. Okay, so you say, Hi, my name is uh, Jake from State Farm, and here is the best car insurance uh, in town. You know what I'm saying? That's just a silly example, but you pretty much say what your name is, um, what you help people do, like your I help X with Y statement real quick. Uh, and then you talk about the solution. We help you do this. Okay. What is the tangible outcome or benefit? How many leads are you going to get them? What is the end result? What's, what's the heaven island look like? Okay. Remember, they're in hell right now. They're in hell. We need to get them out of hell into heaven. What is heaven look like for them as it relates to your offer so you 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 talk about the problem and then you quickly transition to here's who i am here's how i can help you out and here's the end result that i can help you achieve do, 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 do. okay and then next next part real quick is you go into risk reversal risk reversal is you taking risk off of the table um, a lot of times people won't move forward because they might be uh they might think it's too risky, right? They've been burned before. They're like, this sounds too good to be true. Um, uh, I don't believe anything I see on the internet. So how can we take risk off the table? And I learned this from uh, Alex Hermosi because he was like, if you take risk off the table, then there's no logical reason why they wouldn't move forward because either they stay where they're at and their problem doesn't get solved or they decide to work with you and 
it's a higher chance for them to get the problem solved. That if you can't solve the problem, there's no risk. You'll get the money back or you'll help them out for free. There's no risk, right? So in this next part, you talk about risk reversal because what's probably going to happen is when you talk about Heaven Island or you talk about the end result, again, people are going to be like, yeah, right. That's kind of what I have here. Uh, so how can we take risk off the table? So uh, very popular examples are doing guarantees, right? We guarantee this certain result. Uh, and a lot of times people say, hey, if we can't get you this certain result, we'll send you a check in the mail or uh, we'll give you a full refund or we'll give you a full refund plus a check in the mail. Or a lot of people are doing, oh, we'll work for free. I personally don't like the whole we'll work for free example because uh, somebody put it to me where they're like, hey, <laughs> Hey, if I'm working with you and we're not getting results, I don't care if you work for free because I have no faith in you and I'm not going to keep spending ad dollars on something that's obviously not working. And I'm like, once I heard that, I'm like, huh, that makes sense. Um, he used that as an example because I, I asked him, hey, what do you think of this offer? And he was like, fuck that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so basically, uh, if you can not do the whole work for free thing um unless the only time i can see that um makes sense is if it's maybe more of a coaching or consulting offer like maybe like a dating course i could definitely see maybe work for free um maybe making more sense but a lot of times for like lead gen or marketing related stuff like it's a lot stronger of a guarantee if you just give them their money back you know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people hesitate with risk reversals because they're like, damn, I'm going to lose a ton of money. And the thing to, to help with your own psychology around it is just make it conditional. Not everybody will even qualify for the guarantee. And you just make your conditions around stuff that you know, hey, if they do this, they're probably going to get results. Um, so a popular one is um, you might have the crazy for guarantees, but maybe one of your requirements is, hey, every time a lead comes in, you have to call them within five minutes. If you don't call them within five minutes, then the guarantee is void, right? So you're almost setting them up for success because you know, hey, if they come within five minutes, the chance of them responding is going to, or the lead responding is going to go up by I don't know, like 50%. Um, but then you also kind of cut yourself some slack because the, ma the majority of people probably won't hit every lead within five minutes. You know what I'm saying? And that's just like a rough example, but have conditions around your guarantees to not have you stressed about paying everybody if you can't hit the guarantee. So that's pretty much what you're going to be doing in uh, this uh, section. Um, uh, let me see if I'm... There we go. Let me highlight, sorry. This is a lot harder than I thought, having a lot of stuff blocked off and not knowing what's really next. Um, so in this next part, so once you get into the uh, risk reversal, then you just talk about proof um, or success stories. Uh, what I like doing and what I tell clients to do is to talk about two or three clients uh, that have achieved amazing results. And basically what you do is, and this is like one sentence or two sentences max, you quickly introduce a client, you talk about where they were before working with you, and then where they're at now. Okay, so you quickly talk about, okay, what, like, here's the problems they were facing. They started working with us, and now here's all the cool stuff that's happening. Ninja tactic. T think about all of the most common objections people give you. Hey, I don't have enough um, experience for this to work for me. Or, hey, I don't have enough uh, money. Or, I don't, I, I'm not good on the phone. Whatever. Whatever objections people might have to working with you, if you can make the success stories that you talk about, address those objections then your ads can be even more powerful so for example if a lot of people always um, are concerned rather that hey i don't have experience i don't i don't think this will work for me then one of your success stories should definitely touch on that and be like hey this was uh this was michael michael was xyz business and when he came to us he had zero experience he had never ran an ad before and what ended up happening is we showed him our methodology and within 30 days he was running successful ads so in that example i used an objection an objection i might be getting from people i weaved it in with a client testimonial and this should all be real by the way like don't, don't make this stuff up but i weaved it into a client testimonial and then i pretty much addressed that objection uh uh implicitly and i talked about the end result so the whole point also about talking about success stories is just social proof Right? The more people that are getting a result, 
uh, you increase somebody else's confidence in working with you. Because a lot of times, people won't move forward with you because they don't believe in themselves. They don't believe that they can get results with this. So you showing success stories gives them the confidence to know like, hey, if it worked for other people, it'll work for me too. So here you got, you quickly talk about two or three uh, success stories. Next, what you do is you give an overview of what you'll be doing for them. So you describe your system or process briefly at a high level. So the difference between this part and the solution part is the solution is is very uh, tied to the end benefit, okay? What is the end tangible result you're getting them? Whereas this part is you're getting more in the weeds. You're still keeping it high level, but you're getting more in the weeds about, hey, if, I, if I'm working with, or when we start working together, step one, here's exactly what we're gonna do. Step two, here's what we're gonna do. Step three, here's what we're gonna do, okay? So uh, to give make that a little bit more practical, if I'm a advertising agency, the end result is, hey, I'll help you run profitable ads. Now, the overview of what I'll be doing for them might be, hey, I'm going to analyze your current ads for running them, and I'll see which ones are working, which ones are not, and where, where, where there is room for improvement. Next, we're going to look at your offer. We're going to uh, revise or tweak your offer so you can start selling more. After that, we're going to write your ad copy. After that, we're going to create a bunch of images. And then the third step or fourth step we're going to do is we're going to launch the campaign. And once we launch the campaign, we let it run for about a week or two, and then we start analyzing the results. I might have maybe drawn that out maybe a little bit too long, but if you can describe at a high level, maybe in three or four steps, where you're gonna be doing for people, it kind of helps them have an idea and, and future project. Okay, cool, if I were to work with Edwin, awesome, so here's exactly how it would look like. So it takes away the confusion, because when somebody's confused, they don't move forward. So you've already been hitting, okay, you've already addressed, okay, cool, this guy can help me with my problem, here's the solution, it sounds great. Um, uh, seeing all these success stories and testimony that sounds amazing i'm seeing the step by step of how this would work if i were to move forward with him and it just makes it even more enticing okay so hopefully that's clear uh let's talk about this next step so finally you tell them what to do next and this is the easiest part you'd be like hey <laughs> click the link on this video and go over to the next page and i learned this from john carlton a lot of times you have to walk people through every single step that you want them to take so hey you're gonna go over to this page you're gonna see this big red button you're gonna click on the big red button you're gonna put your name your email your phone number uh, after you do that you're gonna see an option to book a time on my calendar Go click on that, click on that, and then blah, 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 schedule. You know what I'm saying? You have to get really granular in terms of uh, uh, what, what what you want people to do next. So it might sound a little bit redundant, but trust me, it helps with conversions. So literally in this step, if you want people to book a call, you tell them, hey, click the link on this, on this video. It's going to take you to a new page. What I want you to do there is just put your information and book a 10-minute call with my team or I, and we're going to show you and, and, and or, or we're going to talk to you and see if we can help you out, set up the system in your business, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You're literally walking them through what are the next steps uh, to get this rocking and rolling. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the seven steps, seven steps <laughs> to get more uh, leads, to get more registrants, to get more book calls, to get more sales, okay? And this works, this works, this is tried and true. Got some more stuff here hidden, so let's see what they have to say. Um, <laughs> basically a repeat of what I just said. This ad structure gets tons of booked appointments if done correctly, uh, but it doesn't just apply for booked appointments. It applies for pretty much any uh, thing in the kind of info world. If you want more people on your calendar, more leads, whatever it is, this format rocks. I recommend for booked appointments because this can take somebody from code to literally booking on your calendar pretty, pretty quick. Next, let me show you an example of a video that applies it. So Hamza is my client. He owns a roofing marketing agency. I think he owned it. I think he stepped down. Uh, but we did a couple of videos and this is one of the ones that worked really, really well for him. Um, and hopefully, oh shit, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Hopefully the audio is on on this. If not, I will just put this in here. But let us play the video roofing leads are dead look if you've owned a roofing company for any length of time you know how difficult it is to find leads that are responsive and qualified you might have wasted thousands of dollars on shared lead services like home advisor and angie's list just to get stuck with a bunch of leads or you might have worked with marketing companies that 
promised you the world, but delivered absolutely nothing. There's got to be a better way, right? Well, what if I told you there is? My name is Hamza, and I'm the owner of a company called RoofX. And at RoofX, we get our contractors pre-screened, pre-qualified appointments with homeowners that need a full roof replacement. In fact, if we can't get you 30 appointments every single month, that means we failed you, and we don't even deserve your business. This over here is Damien. He closed a whopping $300,000 job after the first couple weeks of being a part of our program. This over here is Matt. He closed a $50,000 job, not himself, but through the sales rep that he had to hire as a result of us stuffing his pipeline with too many homeowners, so he had to level up and hire some more guys. And this over here is Rich, a veteran contractor that closed a $15,000 job on the first appointment that we sent him. So how this process works is a simple three-step process. Step one, we spend our own advertising dollars to generate leads for your company. Step two, we call them, we text them, we email them so we can vet and qualify them on what type of home they have, what kind of roof they're looking for, how old their roof is, if they have insurance, if they have financing, a bunch of stuff. And then step three, we book them directly into your salesperson's calendar for an at-home estimate with the decision maker. And all you have to do is focus on closing deals. If you have a proven sales process, that can turn strangers into paying customers, and I guarantee you this is the best growth engine for you to strap onto your company so you can grow and squeeze as many homeowners as humanly possible into your salespeople's calendars and still not have enough space because you'll need to hire more people. And the best part of all this, we don't charge a single penny until after the estimate is complete, meaning that if a homeowner no-shows or cancels the appointment, you don't owe us a single cent. So are you ready for 30 plus pre-qualified appointments in your calendar this month? If so, click the button below and I'll see you on the other side. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the seven figure video ads formula that absolutely crushes it. Uh, I'm giving you guys the entire farm. This is what you should do if you want more money, okay? Uh, that's the video. If you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. More content is on the way. Also, leave a comment below. Let me know what the next video should be about. I literally spend hundreds of thousands on ads for my clients on Facebook and on YouTube. So I'm happy to dive into what's working now in our ad accounts and in our campaigns. Uh, and so without further ado, this was Edwin, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.